played, I played at the, about 190 pounds. And to be my size and be able to have the opportunity in my lifetime to go out and make people happy by the things the good Lord has given me the talent to do, and you can't put a price on that. You, they're half the, his son's bigger than I am. How many people said you were too small? <laughs> Everybody in my hometown. Sure. And it, and it was you motivation. That. Now they're bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's, it's, it's motivation. Uh, whenever someone tells you what you can't do, don't take it as a put down, take it as a challenge. Okay, I'll show you. If more people would accept challenges in their life, they would accomplish more things in their life than they ever thought they would do. Uh, I mean, the good Lord gives you talent. You have to make the best out of that talent. I mean, we're all a talent in whatever field we take. I mean, we've all been successful and had successes in our life. And we don't do that because of us. We do that because it's been given to us to use. And if we don't use it, it's our fault. It is our fault if we waste the talent that the good Lord gives us. And I, I'm, I'm just a firm believer in that. I thank Him every day for the opportunity to honor Him by running out on the football field, umpiring, playing baseball, hunting. I mean, it's my way of enjoying it in honor of Him. And uh, it's kind of kept me grounded in life. I mean, it's real easy to watch guys on TV make a tackle and pull off the helmet and beat themselves on the chest. They got it wrong. They think the game is about them. The game is not about them. They're just part of the game. And if you tackle somebody, you're just doing your job. The same guy that gives up a 60-yard touchdown pass, two series later makes a tackle for a one-yard loss, he takes his helmet off, starts strutting, starts dancing. If you do your job, you do your job well, people will notice. And they will appreciate the character which you show doing your job and respect for the game. I mean, I've never danced in my life. And I had a college coach, well, you know, I do this bit on the music. But I had a college coach who wouldn't allow us to spike the football. He would say, no, give it to the official. And act like you've done it before. So, uh, and I think if you ever watch Walter, he may have spiked about three footballs his entire career, and two of them was his last year he played. Get, you, you, all you've done is do what you're supposed to do. It's not special. You just completed what you were supposed to do. So, that's, I mean, that's, it keeps you grounded. Tell, tell them 